Welcome back to the channel fam. This is episode 2 of our Bosnia adventures. If you haven't watched episode 1, please do so. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Comment below and let us know what you think about Bosnia. In this episode, we will be exploring more of the old town, eating more delicious food and chasing waterfalls. Good morning guys, it's a new day filled with new blessings and we are still here in the beautiful Bosnia and we are still in the whole town. We are currently standing on the beautiful Story Most, otherwise known as the Old Bridge. And look, the tour buses are not here as yet. It is empty. It's 8.20 in the morning. And um, yeah, the old town is, it's empty, it's peaceful, it's quiet. There is no one around. But when you're walking around the old town, <clears throat> You'll see some of these signs and we couldn't leave without showing you guys this sign right here. It says, don't forget 93. And um, definitely as you walk through Mostar, as you go through Bosnia, definitely you will see signs from the war in 93 and um, yeah it's it's a very sad and somber feeling when walking around and seeing all the remnants from the war but when you talk to the people the resilience and the love that they have I'm telling you I am going to miss this place. So, this is Old Town in the morning with no tourist bus as yet. bridge it is empty this is almost next to impossible to see that bridge empty in a few more hours this place will be overrun by tourists the bridge will be filled. There will be divers jumping off the bridge. This will be a complete different scene in a few more hours. All right guys, this is where we came for dinner last night. And if you come here, And you see this for two people. Stay away. This for two people that will do alone. You don't need anything else. This is what this is like this is a little bit of fries. Yeah, so this says mini, but mini is not mini in Bosnia. Well then start the cook again. So yeah, it's a lot of food. But for two people, stay away from this one. Um, we're back here at Urban Taste of Orient. And, um, 
we couldn't leave Bosnia without trying the coffee. So we're gonna try the Bosnian coffee. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's the full menu, so I don't know what we're gonna get as yet, but okay. we're gonna see. Alright guys, when you're in Bosnia, you gotta try the coffee. Did he put the sugar in there? Yeah, so get it in this container. You can take the frog off the top. Yeah. Put the sugar inside the cup. Then you put the frog on the sugar. Then you pour the coffee. And you don't stir it? No. You don't stir it? Uh, no. Oh. very strong yeah. if you're not a coffee lover this may not be for you but if you love coffee you'll definitely enjoy it it's an experience the coffee is strong but very refreshing very good kind of smooth yeah it's different from the I would say regular coffee but when you're done drinking the coffee, take a bite of this and it will take away the taste of the coffee. Mm. And we got... We got some more bread. Greetings from the kitchen. Yeah. Well, we got some more cheese. Is it sour cream? <coughs> I don't know, but it's one of the best things. <laughs> in Boston. <laughs> and along with Chavapi now, don't do that. I said one off. <laughs> one off. Chavapi is undefeated. Undefeated. <sighs> Man, the meatball, the mashed potato, the star of the show is here. Well, the <laughs> Waiter recommended it last time we came, so we wanted to try it before we left. Yeah, so I'll yeah, be definitely um, digging in. About the mashed potato. Fire. Okay. But the meatball with the sauce. It's balling. no longer in most star um, but if you come to Bosnia you have to come to a waterfall and we are at one of the most beautiful waterfall in the entire Europe we are in Kravitz this waterfall is actually stunning. Kravitsi, you are beautiful indeed. Look at the many falls and the water pressure is very heavy. And look at that. Falls from every angle. But um, normally, there would be a lot of people swimming at this falls. But I have a question. 
Now, a lot of people would say that don't come to Bosnia in July and in August because it's extremely hot. They say one of the best months is uh, September. Now, I'm here in September, but the water is freezing and it's kind of chilly. So when is the best time to come to Bosnia? Man, look at that. Stunning. I've been wanting to come to this waterfall for a very, very long time. Ooh. Ooh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> ah, come on, Bosnia. I was really looking forward to this. That's that's a high splunge. That's for your Caribbean blood. <laughs> uh-uh. That is definitely a high splunge. Uh-uh, I don't think I can do it. Just try to put baby into your foot. Uh-uh. It's either everything or nothing. <laughs> one for the team. Yeah. I took one for the family. All right. <laughs> Would you do it again? Huh? Would you do it again? Uh, the next time I come to Bosnia. Our last event for the day is um, this beautiful waterfall right here. Now, you know, even though the history of Bosnia is so sad and painful, um, we had a wonderful time in this beautiful country. The people are amazing. The food is tasty. The food is delicious. But we had an amazing time. Now, if you're coming to Bosnia, there's three things we recommend. Uh, we recommend you explore the old town of Mostar. Um, make sure you try the local cuisine because the Bosnians, they can cook. The food is amazing. And another thing, make sure you visit a waterfall in Bosnia and we recommend this one. Um, Kravitsi is, it's beautiful, it's magical. And um, I'm so happy that I gotten the chance to Put my body in that water even though it's ice cold i took one 
for the team and we recommend you coming here and doing it whenever you come to Bosnia. We will be back for sure. Um, friendly locals, um, if you're coming to Bosnia, make sure you bring cash. They accept euros also. And um, in Europe in general, make sure you have cash, especially for um, bathroom. Uh, most of the shops that we um, visited and restaurants, they accepted um, cards. So if you're a American, the American Express doesn't really work in a lot of places in Europe. So make sure you bring a Visa or a MasterCard. So we will be leaving Bosnia now and we will be heading to Croatia. So until next time, Bosnia, peace, one love. And we'll see you next time. Next time.